feel like they're crying on their own. Um, to know that there's life that has been lost, it is very, very overwhelming. Um, but even passing through that area, it was interesting because I felt um, in the middle of that, the awesomeness of God, in the sense that He's a sovereign God. And um, there's still purpose, and there's still plan and direction for for people should they cry out to Him, should they desire Him. And there's still hope. Whenever there is God, there's still hope. After the concert, uh, a lady came to me and shared with me that she lost her son in the devastation. Looking into her eyes, it's almost... <clears throat> thought about how my mom would feel if she lost her son. It's a mother's eyes. It's a mother's heart. And it's broken. And praying with her, I felt as if um, I didn't do much. There's no way we could bring her son back. But she looked at me with hope. She looked at me knowing that God was in this place. And um, that healing has begun. I am grateful that we are able to come uh, here uh, with the light of Christ in our hearts, uh, with the hope that only a sovereign God can provide. But every year you're a musician, a lot of the time you spend in your own world of creativity. So you're constantly involved with your thoughts, your ideas, your plans for life, musically, from an artist's point of view. When you're able to step out of that and look in someone else's world and see that it's not all about you, there's something very breaking about that. That is what I have experienced. Um, coming in here and realizing that my world is not about Maurice, but it's so much more. Gospel music is a message of hope. I believe from my heart that it draws all people of all nations and speaks to the heart of those who want to hear good news. I never would have imagined the impact that this has had on my life. And then also for the people here, knowing that we are here serving, but yet we have received a blessing. We are all uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. And we are called to serve each other. And it is the greatest opportunity to have the heart that our Savior had. Listen, you've got to come on a trip like your life will never be the same. I'm telling you, you will change. Uh, it's the heart of Christ. That is the Christian, to be Christ-like. And it's my desire to continue this, to not let this experience be a happening in my life, but a, a demand in my life to go into all the earth, declaring the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Standing here today, bringing the good news, uh, looking in the eyes of those who have faced this disaster, who have, have seen despair, who uh, are tired, they're worn out, they're sleeping on a hard floor. Being able to stand here and sing uh, uh, the message of hope, uh, of life, the message of Christ, it is unbelievable. I, I, will, I really have no words. I really have no words, but I can't express that I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.